All right, so if you don't already know what happened last night, Tage Thompson played a remarkable record-setting game, scoring five points in the first period. That's right, five points in just 20 minutes. Now, before we get into today's video, you might notice my voice is a little bit shot at the moment. I just got back from Tampa after taking a trip to watch Tom Brady's greatness in person before I can't anymore, and man... What a game that was. Needless to say, I did miss the last couple of days in terms of NHL coverage. But as I was landing last night on my flight back, I happened to check my phone for updates and saw the absolute insanity that was ensuing in Columbus. Thompson got on the board fairly early, getting an assist on Cousins' 10th of the year to open the scoring. He was just getting started though, and things would progress pretty quickly from here. His first goal of the night, he showed his hands a bit on this tasty forehand-to-backhand move to leave Corpusalo frozen and pretty wide open for his backhander. Dalene then scored his third for the Sabres on a shot Corpusalo probably should have had and ultimately saw him getting yanked early. This was almost like Thompson smelled the blood in the water because he proceeded to absolutely go off from here. Just 22 seconds later, on a real nice play by Buffalo in their own zone, Owen Power gets the puck up to Tuck for the breakout. Tuck gets tangled up a bit, but ultimately he's able to get the puck off to Thompson, who put it home for his second of the game. Not even five minutes later, and keep in mind, just 12 minutes into the first period, Thompson would complete his hat trick on an absolute rocket of a one-timer. This one clocked in at 100.3 miles per hour for his 19th of the year and highlighted just how dangerous his one-timer is. Then, with three minutes to go in the first, Columbus had to have been begging for this period to end and regroup a little, but showing no mercy on a late period 5-on-3, Thompson would score again on what was really just some beautiful passing back and forth between Dalene, Thompson, and Skinner. I mean, just so fun to watch here. Columbus would come back to score a couple after a slow first half to the second, with Line getting his fifth goal of the season, and then a little over a minute later, Nyquist scoring his fifth goal of the season. With a little under four to go in the second, Thompson drilled one home for his fifth of the game. On a beauty of a goal here, he drags the puck just enough to get an angle and put it in short side, capping off his unbelievable record-breaking night, scoring six points in a single game. What's crazy is this is actually his second game of this season where he has scored six points, doing so earlier in the year against the Red Wings. The Sabres would go on to win this one 9-4, and Thompson's five-goal effort tied a Sabres franchise record for the most goals in a game since Dave Andrichuk did it back in 86, and the four goals in the first period also tied an NHL league record for the most goals ever scored in the first period. I mean, just look at this play-by-play -play stat sheet. It looks like a Chell game against your little brother, and you just have to think the Sabres are counting their blessings for extending him before the season started, as you also have to see that his value has skyrocketed since signing that seven-year $50 million deal. I don't remember seeing a guy have the kind of production explosion that Tage is having right now ever. Now, shout out to a Nyquist here who I saw this stat from, where he shows that Tage scored just 35 points in his first 145 games. In the last 104 games, the guy has scored 108. And while he did end up having a pretty solid season last year, I'd say it's pretty safe to say that most of the league had written Thompson off as a bust prior to last season. Even last year, through his first seven games, he had just three points. Now, while he did end up putting together a strong season, scoring 38 goals, it left many wondering if it was just a one-off season. Now, though, with the year he's having, he's gone from looking like a potential bust to looking more like the next coming of Mario Lemieux. Now, as a Pens fan, I don't say that lightly, and it isn't to say I think he is Lemieux. That's sacred territory there. Mario's vision, his size, his effortless skating, and his amazing hands, some of the best hands to ever play the game, put him into the best player of all time contention, in my opinion. So don't get me wrong here. I just felt like I need to say that before you all come from my head. But really, there are a lot of similarities here. At 6'6", 220 pounds, it's his size, it's his speed, and it's his touch that are quickly making him one of today's superstars right before our eyes. It's certainly a treat to watch. Now, quickly, just to kind of wrap up the video, I also wanted to highlight Cousins, who had another solid game and is quickly off to a great year himself. Guy is playing at a point-per-game level right now, and you can't help but feel like the Sabres as a team are maybe one or two players away from being a complete, all-around, serious threat. Maybe adding some better talent at the goalie position and a solid D-man, and all of a sudden, they are for real. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope my voice wasn't too annoying for you, and uh, we'll see you next time.